Welcome back to Control here with the player checkpoint. And we uh, We defeated the altar item and that stupid stupid anchor. Uh, and like I said, oh, we were gonna see it comes right here. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. <laughs> enjoy the ride. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. Yummy you know, and Salvador used to have afterward beers down there. Salvador is um unfortunately not here anymore, so What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? Makes sense. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. And for the touch and uh. Sounds like it's bad. How does the bureau handle threshold? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, I didn't want to know. <laughs> I always loved her inner monologues. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. That's true. 
I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I'm well, the one doing the most yourself. work, apparently. Okay, I'll I'll do the jukebox scene later. Let's let's speak to Dylan. Presumably. And there's no Dylan. Is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I could arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the his, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. I'll do my best. Why do I have to talk to her again? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> no one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. The I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. Or... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. Seriously. <laughs> she was way too excited for knives. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist <laughs> is used around here. I was just about to say that. She sounds like one of those... And I, I was thinking about it the last time I talked to Pope. But she does sound like one of those... How is HRA production coming along? Uh, scientists that Better just loves just creating and whatever comes out. We've already made enough out. to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. <laughs> you see? It's like... I, I'm not criticizing her for it. It's just... She does seem like one of those scientists that over-enjoys her work. Uh. Oh, I never went in here.
I have forgotten what the map is. There it is. <laughs> right when I was asking for it to. Probably up here then. Just when I thought things were stabilizing, Marshall abandons us. I'm sick of no one telling us what's going on. Information's always been on the need to know basis. This Arish guy. I heard some rangers saying you saved them in the Bay. They were attacked by a new kind of piss, and Arish got them out. <laughs> Depart department rivalries. Man. I don't know if I like. Mall cop. <laughs> relax, guys. Relax. through here why the fuck did we put a bullet in that thing's head i heard it's the direct cuz i will murder you if you do oh they cleaned up his body not the blood marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leave yes Why is to follow orders? Oh, there he is. Happiness comes by the yellow red. You are a worm through time. The thunders home distorts you. Happiness comes by pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been in your youth. Why this is betrayal? We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. You are a worm through time. The thunders home distorts you. Happiness comes by pearls. But yellow and red in the eye. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You lost them in there. You want us to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Hmm. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push your fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can to you be stop true. that? Please? Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangeville! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! 
We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a warm through time. You are a warm through time. The thunder's cold is with you. Happiness comes with white birds, with yellow and red. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. <laughs> okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child, a girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. <laughs> sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warm through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. Me and I can keep talking to him. Red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? 
I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. I've been here 22 minutes and I want to hear another dream. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? Or to his. I just had an interesting <laughs> dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, Convenient. Best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. Man, so many dreams. Ah, okay. Lots of interesting data off that subject the Rangers brought in. I heard that he voluntarily entered captivity. He did. Got a problem with that? Okay, let's try this. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, I think I know where it is. Isn't it upstairs or somewhere around right here? I remember a jukebox. Oh, there it is. This is Lynn Salvador, yep. head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents use the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. 
An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Well, glad the jukebox was being used for the greatness of expedition. Another radio. They get a picture of me for presidential. That's crazy. Catchy tunes. Ah, oh, there's a jukebox. I'm gonna put like a. Uh, I guess like a timestamp on this video because there was a lot of just talking and conversation in this uh, episode and uh, this is probably what I'm going to do mainly. Okay, where am I? This looks like the rock quarry. Why would people come here for inappropriate behavior? This place is not sexy. I mean, if their idea of sexy is this, then I'm, you know what, I'm not going to judge them. I know who was the one who suggested it, by the way, actually. Stars. But that certainly looks like the same sky as the quarry. Yes, I should look for those rangers. A flashing light. They must have gone that way. to do it here I guess it's a big area if I were t a couple of rangers where would I be Do that on, on accident. And I like bump into stuff. Hmm. Okay, it's stuck. Okay. Just came from here. Oh. 
are moving on their own. There. Nope. Chair never came up. Oh. <laughs> I love the mission update. Come on. Whoa, what happened? Did the song end? Or did the song start playing? What the heck? <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Guess the song ended. The timing. Oh yeah, it did. Huh. Well, time to tell Irish, Irish the good news, right? In there, we go around that way. There you are. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them, but it's not good news. The hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming with the formation. It's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. I try. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Well, that happened. All right, back to work. So, let's hear one more dream from Dylan, uh huh? What the? I can't use my power hey well, Am I not allowed because everyone's here? Is that what's happening here? Some BS. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. <laughs> Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. <laughs> I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds 
side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Doris said time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, I'll listen to the rest of these dreams off camera. And I will see you guys at the next checkpoint. Sorry there wasn't much actual playthrough. I didn't know it was going to be this much dialogue at this point. So, uh, I guess I'll just... Oh, well, I'll go find Pope's... Uh, partner lab mate yeah that i'll go do that in the next checkpoint and if that doesn't take long then i will go down to where dylan wants me to go laters